Hello and welcome to the second in a series of tutorials for XFX glass panels. There are a set of plugins for Final Cut Pro 10 that allow the overlay of clean, simple glass panels with images, video and text. In the first tutorial, we built this side panel with text, a drop zone and independent animating bullets. Now let's add some more movement. You'll see that the car in the background is stationary. We want to give it a bit more life, not a problem. Uh, first thing we need to do, we need to make this into a compound clip. If we actually look at the picture and look in the inspector, we can see it's 70744 and 76. That is more than large enough to be able to do an animation on. Bear in mind, this is a UHD timeline, so it needs to be fairly large anyway. First thing we need to do is make this into a compound clip. So what I'm going to do, I can right click or you can go actually Alt or Option G and call that Ferrari clip. That's fine. That's made that into a compound clip. Now, here's the clever bit. We're going to go Command 5 to bring up the effects browser and we're going to pick from from one of these, either the 1080s or the 4Ks. Now, I know this is in 4K, but it doesn't matter. There's just one zoom up down. It doesn't matter. It's going to go the same speed. Drop that on there. And you can see we've got a lovely slow zoom into, into the car on there. If you want it a bit quicker, that's no problem. You could go 15. Really up to you. And all those speeds will be relative to uh, the actual timeline. So it doesn't matter what size. Once you put it in a compound clip, it doesn't matter what size the original media is. It, they'll all go at the same speed if you're trying to match things. And it will remain pin sharp as well. OK, we quite like that. If you don't like it, there are other moves. If you look, you've got to move left, right, down and up for both 1080 and 4K. They just go slightly different speeds, that's all. Let's continue with the animation. So at the moment, we've got the background zooming in and the sidebar coming on from the right uh, with the drop zone, the text and also the um, independently adjustable bullet points. Great. Let's do some more animation. We're going to go to panel full frame mover. Now, this has got no text or anything actually in the thumbnail. It's just blank and you'll see why. I'm going to pick it up and drop it in between the bullet background and our compound clip. And I'll extend that out as well. Go to the front and we get a movement. OK, it's a good movement, but not exactly what we want. What we want is we want the uh, car to come in from the right. So that's not a problem. If we go to the inspector, we can see all the animations and we're going to go from right. You can use whichever one you like. Now. We have that sliding in from the right. I mean, we've got a bit of a dissolve on the end. Let's get rid of that as well. And tell you what, let's go uh, uh, to right as well. So that's going to give us. Yep. As I said, normally I tend to stack these, so the the out isn't that important. But as you can see, we've we've got a perfect. They all go out at the same time. That's great. But it's the in we're going to be looking at. Like that a lot. Okay, you guessed it. It's another compound clip. New compound clip, Ferrari clip. Let's call it. Two, and now I've got that as one clip on there. The computer is doing quite a lot of work, but what I want to do is something even better. I've got this clip that you might recall from the promo, and I'm going to pick that up over the top. And there we have a stacking glass panel display. That is rather cool. As you can see, the girl is moving to the right. We've got um, some more text and another picture on the left hand sidebar. And in comes the Ferrari with the uh, bullet points coming in as well. And remember, because all of these items are live, let me open up this. We can see here we go. That's the girl, the full frame and the sidebar. And then we've got this, which is the Ferrari. All of this is live. You can adjust every item on this to match music for length or anything like that. You're not tied into a baked in durations in a template. It's up to you to match music, voiceover, whatever you want. Look, that even goes goes out as well. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover typography and how to get big and small letters, how to do kerning, etc. to make it all look really nice 
as a presentation. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye.